Hi there again, everyone, and welcome back to Hollow Knight with me, Kid K. Mirai. Let's hit it and get started again. Last time we had some harrowing battles in the Coliseum of Fools. This time we're going back to doing some more exploration. Like I said at the end of the last video, we're going to go back to some places we've already been to check out some things we haven't already seen. First of all, though, I actually did, as promised, go back into the Coliseum and do some of the do do the two trials again, so that I could show you um, some additional hunter's journal entries. This one I thought was kind of sad. Um, the sharp boulder. The um, the hunter says these creatures. I have never seen one fully grown. I suppose they aren't allowed to live long enough to become adults. So there aren't any large sharp baldurs like there were the elder baldurs for the little guys that we first met in Ancestral Mound. We already saw that. Uh, this one was just funny. They have crafted a tiny mask for it. It's such an extravagance practical, I wonder. So that just goes to show they, they do make armor for these guys. And you can see its mask matches like the other, you know, warriors that are in the Colosseum. The Oblobble. This is the kind that uh, pairs for a mate for life and will never leave its side. That was the boss of the second trial. Having a mate by your side. One that will never leave you until death. Strange. No mate has ever come forth to stay by my side. <sighs> Maybe the hunter is looking for love. This, on the entry for the shielded fool, that Colosseum is a strange place where some bugs fight each other to the death and others watch. I don't understand such obscure rituals. If you venture in, stay on guard at all times. So the hunter believes in, you know, hunting down and killing things for sport, you know, and for food, but doesn't understand this, you know, the ritual of, you know, killing in front of others for sport. Like you go in with the, um, with the knowledge that either one of you could end up dead or both or not, you know, whatever. So the hunter, being a hunter, is more about predator and prey relationship than about, you know, people just deciding, I'm going to fight to the death for glory. Like, that's not his style. This dirty fool doesn't necessarily have anything too yeah. interesting. Or that one, or that. Okay, so that was pretty much it, except we're going to go all the way back up to the top because we got journal entries for the Vengefly King, and that was kind of a funny one. A filthy creature that is happy to chew on any old thing it finds discarded on the cavern floor. When it notices a threat, it will annoyingly scream and shriek, so kill it swiftly. <laughs> that was kind of funny, paired with um, the hunter's particularly nasty entry about Zote, because remember when we first saw Zote, he was in the jaws of the Vengefly King, and so I guess he's just any old thing that it finds discarded on the cavern floor. Just adding insult to injury to poor Zote. And the Grass Mother, we got the entry for that as well, because um, that was another one where it was an early boss, but um, we had to kill more of it to get the journal entry. Bizarrely, this monster does not lay eggs, but instead carries its young inside of its fat stomach. This strange practice seems to exhaust the creature, making it sleepy and vulnerable. Take advantage. We did the first time. The first time we encountered one, it was asleep. Alright, so that was some some journal entries. You can see I also got a bunch more Geo from doing the trials again and again. So we should be able to buy anything that we come across now, huh? Just make sure that I have the right charms on again. Yes, I added um, Sprint Master, the one that makes you run faster, to my repertoire of um, exploring charms for this video. Uh, because I thought that the stink would be kind of overkill when we're just wandering around. But um, this way we can run just a little faster. It's kind of subtle, but um, nevertheless you are you are running faster. So, we already found... What we're looking for is a way to get back into the City of Tears. We already saw one of those over at the left side of this room, where we're actually going to go and um, pop down to the one that's in the middle there of um, Kingdom's Edge. Also, it looks like I might not have gotten all of the um, essence 
from that tree in that room. So I'm just going to go back and see what I can do about that real quick while I'm in there. Meanwhile, getting more, more money. No, this is a super cool wall. Oh, wait. I know it's in there. If I go in there, there's going to be a great hopper. I don't want that. Sorry. I don't want the one of the first things that I do in this video to be to die to a great hopper. <laughs> because it's, um, there's a spike floor also. Okay, so... Let's go all the way down to the bottom of this room, first of all, and just, um, check and see what essence I might have missed. I had thought that I must have gotten all of them because the, um, there didn't seem to be any, um, remaining Dreamcatcher stuff in the area. Ooh, I got, I got one just for doing that. But, um when I was watching the video later on to edit it, um, there didn't seem to be very much, if any, visible um, essence around. Uh, or any, any visible... Um, wow, you're tenacious. You really want to die. I was going to spare you. But um, there didn't seem to be any Dreamcatcher stuff in the background at all anyway. So, um, I thought to myself, well, if that's the case, then maybe I did miss Essence. But it's a tip is that as long as, um, one of those pins for the Essence trees, you know, remains visible on your map, um, that's still an extant tree that you need to, uh, finish dealing with. Come on. You know what? You know what? Go away. I didn't want to die to a great hopper, I said, and then went and, you know, lost a bunch of... a bunch of health to an aspid instead. Also, I want to point out, you know, uh... We solved the great mystery of... Yeah, the tree is not complete. Um, we solved the great mystery of where those bodies are coming from, didn't we? They're coming from the Colosseum. They're all, um... They all look like... You know... Okay, so off to the right. They all look like combatants that we met as part of the trials. You know, they're winged fools and... Oh, that was easy. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's the sound. But, um, so they all look like combatants from the Colosseum of Fools. So, that's where the bodies are coming from. Basically, as you're, as you and other contestants are killing your fellow combatants, you, um, you're ensuring that their bodies get, like, you know, thrown out like trash. And, unfortunately, I'm sorry, guys. We came down here looking for a way to the City of Tears, and the game makes sure that you don't miss this site. There's no way you can't run into it if you're looking to complete your map. We got to fight Zote. We didn't get to fight Tiso. And unfortunately, guys, we're not going to get to. That's anticlimax thanks to you, stupid thing. Our buddy died. I'm sorry to have to say it, but... And his last thought was just, why? All he wanted was to have some battle in the Coliseum, and I guess he got it. But we never got to see how cool he was, and... This is probably one of the saddest things in the game, uh, along with Myla's infection. Um. Yeah, so we're starting off the video with, you know, kind of badness. But, uh, just like we said with Mila, we got to continue on and go forward, so I guess... Rest in peace, Tiso. 
Unfortunately, you got what you were looking for. But not in the way you hoped. Bye-bye, buddy. And that, that guy just plummeted. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're headed through this exit into the City of Tears, but we ended up in a strange place. And it's called the Tower of Love. And there's weird laughter behind this door. A locked padded door. That's that's not pleasant to know about. And after I just saw that my buddy Tiso is dead, I don't really think I want to deal with anything like that. Um however, that's a bottle that's kind of like the bottle that the grubs are kept in. Do you see this sign? It looks like um it looks like it has a bunch of bottle looking symbols on it and like you put things in it that are sort of backwards S shaped almost kind of like grubs are? I, I don't know. I guess, I guess, um... Oh, you know? That voice doesn't sound like a grub, but if you listen hard, hold on. You can sort of hear what sounds a little bit like grubs in there. But it's called the Tower of Love, and I'm not sure that I want to know about that. Especially since it's all purple padded and, you know... Yeah, that's a little uncomfortable. Okay, so we open that up, and um, without coming down through it, we wouldn't have been able to hit this lever. So this is what creates the shortcut to between Kingdom's Edge and the City of Tears in this direction. So that way you don't have to go through the one that's all the way up the top. So now here we are, we're back in the City of Tears, but it looks like an underground section. And, you know, there's Bellfly. Yeah, we haven't been here before. And this is the lower exit from Kingdom's Edge. So, actually, I think if I go up here, then there's something to find all the way up here. Yeah. It's just a wanderer's journal, but it's always good to pick them up. Pick them up and try to dream no corpses. Oh, that was my... I don't know if you heard my little grr scream. <laughs> that was my phone. Okay. Okay, so back in here, we're gonna now travel a little bit left and hopefully not get hit by bell flies again. Here's a grub! Yay! We didn't have any grubs last time because we were too busy in the Coliseum. Yay! Woo! Knowing that we're saving the grubs one by one does make me feel a little bit better about the direction this video is taking. Okay. And actually, we are back in King's Station, which is great because in addition to being back in the City of Tears, this means that we're back in a place that's a hub of transportation. So now we're back to having access to the stag stations and the ability to go pretty much wherever we want. For the past several videos, we've been traveling via the, um, if when we're traveling at all that's not just on foot, we've been using the trams and haven't really been, you know, on the stags. It's been a while since we saw our friend the stag, but first of all, the first thing that we have to do in our jaunt across, uh, Hellenes today is we need to go upgrade our nail. So I'm going to go embark on that little journey. See you in just a second, guys. Okay, here we are at the Nailsmith's Hut. Ah, uh, Ranjo Stenja. Hmm. Oh, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. I think that's what he said the last time, actually. Two pale ore and geo, yes. And this 
is 2,000 geos, so our jaunt in the Colosseum was actually helpful for that. Not only did we get the ore, we got the money. Jonesha. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Garadel Akari. Here we are. The reforging is complete. I've modified the nail to spiral form. A very tricky task it was. You'll find it stronger than ever before. Off you go now. Cut your way forward. Hmm, Vendasu. Okay, he's just... Right, the next time we'll need three pieces. Okay. And he's still, I think, just... Right, he's just looking to forge the perfect nail. Let's take a look. See, it's pretty now. It's got... It does. It has a spiral-looking uh, design to it. Coiled nail. A powerful weapon of Hellenist refined beyond all others. So, he's working toward making our nail pretty great. Alright, um, I'm gonna head back toward, um, King's Station. But, um, on the way we're gonna stop and see Lem. Um, we have a few, um, Wanderer's Journals that are worth them. And now I can kill those guys in one hit. It took two before. Um, we have a few Wanderer's Journals to sell. So... And now those guys only take two. So, um, alright. See you in just a sec, guys. Okay, and here we are at Lem's house. Hello, Lem. Velmi Artress. Okay, selling some Wanderers Journals. Oh, Paul. A Wanderers Journal? You've a knack for finding these. Corpses must be frequent on your journey. No doubt your nails created many more. Velmi Artress. Another, another wanderer's journal, eh? This journal is, is of traditional stone type. Text endures well upon it. In its declining age, the city switched from stone to parchment woven of spider's silk. It's a small tragedy, but the moisture in these towers has rendered most of those texts ineligible. Velmi Artrit. A wanderer's journal? Have you heard that saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your nail has stolen with wear, just swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flare. It's a good one, isn't it? And accurate. They sure have a heft to them. Helma Delker. And then he says, get out. Um, he had some interesting things to say today. It's, um... It's interesting to hear that most journals are made of stone. They sort of do look like they're carved on stone or maybe shell. Um, so that's interesting. But also just the fact that they went to parchment woven of spider silk. So, you know, they're not making paper out of, you know, the same stuff that we humans make papers out of, you know, papyrus and all that. And, you know, now synthetics or wood. They instead um, made it out of spider silk. So remember when we were up in, basically up in this tower and some of the, um, the soul sanctum as well, we were sort of, our footsteps were throwing up, you know, papers. That's what that was made out of, spider silk. Also interesting that it would be made of spider silk because um, the spiders, the beasts, were the ones who, you know, rejected Hallow Nest and, um, you know, didn't even let a tram be built in Deep Nest and all that. So it didn't seem like there was ever a, an, a proper alliance between those two. But obviously there were some dealings if there was spider silk to be had or the bugs of Hallow Nest were killing spiders and maybe that's why the spiders don't like them. But, you know, interesting to think about, like, why, why spiders? Okay, so gonna head back to King's Station, and actually I'm just gonna get on the stag and um, head to where we're gonna go next is Queen's Station, take care of some things in Fungal Wastes. So, see you in just a moment, you guys, again, after I'm done killing, killing the rich. Okay, <laughs> be right back. 
Alright guys, so I realized that there was no point in my, you know, resuming the video with um, me being at Queen's Station when I was going to have to walk around Fungal Wastes, you know, to get where I was going. There's no reason for me to watch me climb around places we've already been. So um, our first stop is at Leg Eaters to get his other two charms that we did not buy before. Hello, Leg Eater. I'm here to buy your shit. What he says about this charm, it's called Fragile Heart. This is a precious thing. A beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. Yes. Charms are pretty cheap. I didn't buy them originally, I think, because I didn't really have very much money at that point. Okay. And this one is called Fragile Greed. Very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to ho find more Geo? Hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any Geo you find back to me. Well, I don't think I'll be doing that, but I will buy your charm. Do you have anything new to say? Are you curious? You're wondering how I make my special gifts. Eh, don't try to steal my secrets. I'll steal them right back. If you're cruel to me, you'll be sorry. I forget if I if I read that before. I feel like I didn't. But I know I didn't do this because I didn't have the dream nail before. I'll make more. And they'll give me more Geo. If someone comes by, they have to give me their Geo. If you have enough Geo, you become a king. When I get enough Geo... I'll become a king. You have ambitions, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is definitely different. Hmm. The air has changed. I can smell something new. Dangerous things are drifting through here now. Are you scared? If you stay here, I won't protect you. See, he looks like such a friendly guy, but then it's like he's really super creepy. You don't like to be hurt, do you? Or maybe you don't mind? I mind, don't you? Even think about it. Are you nice? If you're nice, you'll give me Geo. I just did! Maybe you aren't so nice. Don't try to trick me. I'm not stupid. If you remember when we first came in to his spot, he said, don't try to, you know, trick me. I can smell you. Um, so if you look at him, I mean, his eyes are white. So it's possible he's blind or, you know, vision impaired in some, to some degree at least. But he talks about things smelling like stuff. Something must smell really bad if um, he can smell it over just the general odor of um, fungal wastes. You have a lot more to say that I never knew about. Beautiful, aren't they? These gifts I have. They're shiny and dangerous and lovely. I made them. Don't be jealous. Give me Geo and you can have one. Enough talking. You're jabbering. Annoying. Step over here and show me your Geo. Ironic, because... Our interaction thing is listen, not talk, and it's... <laughs> I don't think we're talking. I think you're talking. I think your jabbering is annoying, like, here. That's okay. Not gonna rest here, because we have other places to get to. We're going to head to a spot, um... Do you see? To the left area of, um... Fungal Wastes, right below Queen Station, there is an entrance that um, we weren't able to go through before. So that's what we're going to do next. Be right back. Right, so here we are right above this exit right here, and we're going to take a look at it.
I think it was less that we couldn't get in here just yet, and more that um, we just didn't yet. But on the other hand, it's probably a good thing that we have our wings, because now we can... Um, there. Except that I did manage to kill that with its own, um, its own badness. Let's head up here to a grub! Another one! Yay! Woo! Penny took notice of my dance. Hello, Penny. It's okay. You don't need to, you don't need to get worked up about that. Okay, let's go under here. Yeah, and we wouldn't have wanted to come in here without Isma's tear, of course. And it looks like here we have something to look at. It's a charm. It's called Spore Shroom. So, more charms. Um, composed of living fungal matter. Scatters spores when exposed to soul. When focusing soul, emit a spore cloud that slowly damages enemies. So it's it's a way to damage people or enemies. You know, when you're healing, it throws off a cloud of spores that will, you know, create damage. I also happen to know that if you're wearing Spore Shroom and Defender's Crest at the same time, your, um, your spore cloud, I think, is bigger. I don't know if it does more damage or if it's just bigger. So that's an interesting, you know, charm combo. But um, also we can look at these... Fragile heart will increase the health of the bear, allowing them to take more damage, but it breaks if, if you're killed. And fragile greed causes the bear to find more geo when defeating enemies. Um, I can show you that at some point, um, you know, when I'm able to, you know, sit at a bench and check it out, you know, by changing my charms up. But um, that one, basically, you find other little glowing coins there they look a little different and that's how you can tell that they're the ones that um you got because of the charm it's a pretty cool wall here so we're gonna check that out next but um yeah so that one actually makes you find more geo and so that's kind of cool yeah first of all let's go over here The corpse of a mossy vagabond overcome with infection. So that was some kind of a creature. It looks like if this is this is a corpse, and that's like a big one. Mossy vagabond. It looked like we got a hunter's journal entry for it. So okay, lazy, portly mosskin, easily swayed by others. It's as slow, fat, and easily vanquished. Common threads in those who forget their calling and forsake their duties. So it's, you know, a moss creature like the moss knights, but this one's a vagabond, so maybe it was a knight or, you know, was meant to be a knight. And, you know, like the hunter says, forsook its duties. But on the other hand, you know, the sometimes the hunter says things about, like, how strange it is that someone's fighting for honor or duty or whatever. Okay, so nowhere to go in there that way. So it was mainly just to check that out. Okay, we can go here. Looks like it's just a spot for more money. Don't see a breakable floor or anything. Whoa! I honestly wasn't expecting that. Crap, am I in deep nest? Oh no, I'm in deep nest. Well, um... Well, I guess I'm in deep nest now. Um... Yeah, I I completely forgot about this. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, we're gonna look for um a way out of here because I'm not sure. Let's just go all the way bottom. Any of these corpses to say? Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, whoops. This is this is the other part that Cornifer mapped, so one suspects that he got into Deep Nest through here, you know, and came down. Alright, you know what? If you wanna like make faces at me. Okay. So it looks like 
we could exit down into a place we've already been, but what we really want to do is head up to the top because, um, I think... Is it possible to get to the top? I hope so! I would like to not be in deep nest. I don't remember this bit. Let's see. But there was no way to avoid falling. It was like if you if you walked through that path, you were going to fall. Wait, if I didn't already have the hundred journal entry for those things. Okay. Um, okay, I think it's gonna be Is it possible to get up there? It is if you have wings. Okay, so I'm kind of... This this wasn't exactly where I was supposed to go. But that's another way. Um, I can't look at my map without these things opening up. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to one of those exits like, to the right. I'm not sure if I can. I feel like I should be able to, though. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Maybe here? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Could you, like, not? I mean, really. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna, you know, see if I can figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Looking for a big wall. Um, that wasn't it. Is this it? Yes. Okay, cool. I check my grubs. It says other. Other. That's the one that says home. This I do remember that the, that it was a room with a bunch of grubs. The rest are all mimics. I will not be letting you out unless. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have the um, hundred journal entry for the grub mimic? Maybe. Do I? Eh. All right. I'll get. I'll kill them. Like, fine, I'll kill them already. Just in case, because, um, I do like to get some journal entries. Okay. But maybe I already have that one. Sorry for all these, sorry for all these pauses, guys. It's because I'm, like, trying to figure out if I've. if I'm where I'm supposed to be. I, I don't know where the, um, where on the list. This guy would be the um the mimic. Oh well, I'll I'll find out later. But um anyway, so that was that. Um you know what? I think um I think just in the interest of me uh not wasting you guys' time as I try to get out of the nest, I'm just going to um go do this myself. So, um, see you in just a second, guys. Okay, here I am back at Queen Station, and, um, basically what I did to get out of Deep Nest wasn't as complicated as I thought it was going to be. See, we filled in that one area of Deep Nest, that Cornifer map that we never went in. What happened is, where I fell is sort of, if you look at, you know, that section, I fell down the center prong of that, and then we saw there was another way to get up off to the left. Um, I just went up that and ended up back in the, um, you know, back in the fungal wastes. So, um, 
yeah so next thing we are going to do is we are going to check out um some stuff in i'm trying to decide what to do next um let's actually let's go to dirtmouth let's let's go to dirtmouth and um see our friends um see if we uh can buy anything new. I don't think there's anything really new to buy, but what I really want to do is I want to go to Dirtmouth so that I can go to, um, to see the Grub Father. It's been a really long time and the last time I said I was going to go there, I didn't. So, why don't we head there next? See who and what we can see. Recognize that voice. Is a fucker nigh? Oh no. Oh no. Breda. <sighs> Grey Prince. So dark. So troubled. No. Breda, do you have a crush on Zoot? She's blushing. Oh no. So did you steal did you steal our girl? Oh my god. Okay, alright. I have to find out we Zoat, we wait, hold on. I went I accidentally went in her house. Oh no, she has a picture of Zoat now instead. Oh no. Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna go back in and see if her fan fiction has changed just a second, but I wanna see what, what so does to save her himself after we just watched him like completely embarrass himself in the Coliseum. But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, Lightbender claimed another victor, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering, cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is in my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zot. 57 precepts of so are you are you like selling self-help books now particularly relevant here is the first precept always win your battles as for the other 56 56 precepts well I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys this there are actually 57 precepts and he will actually go through them all he will say them all he'll elaborate on them it's really 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 long and then when you get to the end it loops around again so I am not going to be talking or rather listening to Zote anymore in this video because it would take up like half an hour to do this however well maybe i shouldn't spoil it that <laughs> maybe i'll let that be a little surprise for later but uh for right now let's see i mean he's he basically is lying he stole one of these things unless he did i i don't think he could possibly have managed to kill one of those armored guys if he couldn't even, you know, do any damage to us. So he must have stolen this and gotten away. But it makes you wonder, did, did the Colosseum people kick him out? Like, was he just, like, exiled from it? Because he didn't die. You have to give him that. He didn't die. As many enemies as we killed, you know, was the knight sort of through us, you know, was the knight holding back when we were having, you know, them swipe and swipe and smack Zote, or what? Or is Zote actually, like, I keep saying, tougher than we think? But he did not die at our hands. Still kind of interesting, I think. Let's see what he has to think about. I came to this kingdom to fulfill a promise, and now I have succeeded. That promise I made so long ago, a promise to myself, promise of glory glory for i so the mighty 
I never doubted myself, never faltered, and now I have achieved everything I desire. You are delusional. But I love you anyway. Brada. Okay, now that's just so. Um, if I back up off of it, get her instead. Heroic, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Zod stole our girl. Okay. She's got a picture of Zod up there. Let's see what her friend fiction says. The Grey Prince. Heaving heavy breaths, flushed from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore to prove it, the fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. Startling warning he brought to the village, one that rung so true. Their white savior, thought a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast, and this shrouded gray prince was in truth the hero deserved. Not only is he lying about his own achievements, he is slandering us to the townspeople. With honor and humility, he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose, to find her, to protect her, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. So now she's right in, now she's right in fan fiction about Zote. And she doesn't love us anymore. Descend isn't something we want to do just yet. Although, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'll show you this. Okay, but we're not going to do the thing that's attached to it. Just yet. Yeah. She has a big old statue of Zoe in her basement. It's got dream stuff coming out of it. Later on, we will dream nail it, but not now. Not just yet. Greta, you deserve better. Elderbrook, do you have anything new to say? Can you can you cheer me up? Akala, no, nothing new to say. Okay. And we talked to Sly somewhat recently. I think we talked to Sly after we saw. Or oh no, we couldn't. We couldn't have. Oh come on, yeah. Hmm, you seem a little different. Something has changed in your bearing. Ah, the way you hold your nail. So, you've learned to nail art. Very interesting. I wonder, do you have the passion to continue your training? So there's there's other nail artists. Hey, oh, right, yeah. I am. Um... Right, I bought you out. And I bought out a Zelda too. Let's see, um, let's see if she has anything new to say. Right, no, no. Home, Sanjo. Okay, no, so she doesn't have anything new either. Okay, so we're gonna go down and see the grub father, who is our only true and good thing. Wait! Before we do that, and, and I really gotta, like, not forget about this. There was actually a door over to the right here that I could use a key on. It's a ghost. Yeah. Another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your wake? If you won't spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. This is a grave digger, but he's dead. Do as you will, little wanderer. Cut a path towards your goal. I shouldn't complain. It's your kind that keeps folks like me in business. Very practical. Thought. Okay. If I dream nail him, he will be absorbed. Remember, there was a store here. And now I have two keys since I killed a person for a key. So I will go ahead and open this now. Finally, after all this time. It's just that there were other things that needed keys that were more useful than this. To me, anyway. Right, we've got a whole bunch of candles. We need and... Oh! Well, hello there. Excuse me. Uh, Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some? Time? Ah, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. 
I am Gigi, and if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. They're called Confessor Gigi. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. Do you say anything different if I talk to you from the right? No. Oh, ah, sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. How long I must have slept. This land is so much darker now, so thick with the stains of regret. Even the air is murkier. If I sleep again, will the darkness creep in here and swallow me whole? What Gigi is there is here for, and I've actually never used her services just because I'm too bloody-minded and stubborn for it, is... Uh, when you, if you remember the Hunter's Journal entry for your shade set talks about it as being like a representation of, of regrets and she was talking about regrets, what she'll do is if you've left a shade behind, she'll summon it there. So like, let's say you lost your shade, you died and lost your shade, like beyond those horrible pounding things in Crystal Peak. And, like, your shade just manifests behind there and, you know, you're gonna have trouble getting it back. Or otherwise, if you think you're gonna have trouble getting it back, you could, um, you could travel to Dirtmouth via Stag Station if you can and use her to summon your shade back. And that, and since I'm not gonna do it because I don't have a shade, that is actually what, uh, the rotten eggs are for. The rancid eggs. You pay her in rancid eggs, so that's why um, you find those every so often, is they're her currency. So, like I said, I've never actually used them in a Steel Soul run, since you can't leave behind a shade because you're not allowed to die, ever. There's a different character in there that um, will buy your rancid eggs, and it's a great way of getting money in the game. But, um... It's only, that's only for Still Soul. Okay, so let's head down into Forgotten Crossroads and see the Grubfather. <sighs> Infected Crossroads. This was not here before, now was it? All of this orange goo. This is definitely not good. Things are getting worse. This is an interesting part of the game, is that um, as you progress, this place actually gets worse. This first area now has worse enemies in it. Do you remember the um, the guys that were in the Colosseum that looked like worse gruzzers that were really severely in infected? That was the Vengefly version of that, as you can tell by the fact that it exploded. It had so much infection in it that it exploded. And you can see these... Um, these gruzzers are of the... Well, I did the dumbass thing that I said I wasn't going to do, which was forget that they explode. Um, but anyway, our... It's an interesting thing in the game because, um, and that I think is particularly cool because when you think about it, like, the first place that we came to was Dirtmouth, and it seemed like a haven from the infection. It's always been full of people since we started, you know, saving people and reintroducing them into the town, and it's right below them that this badness is happening, so it's just like it's right on their doorstep. Also, um, just, geez, like, I was looking at my map, dude. Leave me alone. But, um, when we were, um, talking to Leg Eater, he said the thing of, um, you know, there's a different smell in the caverns. If you remember, his, his shop is the one that's in that tall room in Fungal Wastes right in the center of the screen right now. You can drop down into Fungal Wastes from, uh, the crossroads, so it could be that that's, this is what he was referring to. But, just to allay your fears, guys... You don't need to worry about our friends, the Grubs. They're okay. Well, let's go see them. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't heard your voice in so long, Grandfather. Look at all these grubs. Look at all this money and prizes. Hellenist seal. Nice. I told you we could get so much money. And yes, we are. Because look at all these grubs. Pick up the first. Alright, awesome. Got a ton of money. And a pale ore. So we're on our way to our next sword upgrade already. Look at all of them. You can see them in the background. There's still there's still some holes unfilled. But I'm really glad to see that even with the infection looking seriously worse out there, you know, our little buddies are doing okay. Oh, they stop because I stopped moving. Yeah! <laughs> All right, little ones. I'll be back again once I find more of your brethren. All right. Um, I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over and see. I don't remember if Salubra has any other charm not just to sell or if she will sell me one. Um, if she'll sell me one, then I will, um, you know... Uh, see you then, but if not, then I'm just gonna go back up to the stag station in Dermot. So, be right back. Okay, here I am at Salubra's house, and it looks like she will sell me a charm notch, so I am for sure gonna buy it. The grub father is paying for this. Okay, so the final thing that she will sell you, she says, this is a special item for those who love charms as much as I do. Once you own 40 charms, I'll gladly sell it to you. You only need 14 more. Keep collecting. It says, my blessing. <laughs> do you have anything new to say? Petra, Miss okay, now that's the usual thing. I wonder, have I ever dream nailed her? <laughs> dear, dear, I really must hold it together. Must appear calm. But this creature is just divine. At least... Salubra still has a crush on us. Um, since Breta got spirited away by the Zote. Okay. Actually, you know. Okay, next I'm going to go to Ancestral Mound. Because there's something there that I think I can get now. Um, so, be right back once more. Right, so here we are in Ancestral Mound, and you can see that there's light coming out through here, and when we were here the very first time, I think I sort of took note of that. Now that we have wings, we can get up in here, and as it turns out, what's up here is money and an essence tree. So we get to go essence hunting throughout the Ancestral Mound. There aren't any up here. Okay, there were not. Well, at least it looks like, um, nothing is different in here. You know, which is good. I mean, like, the snail shaman is okay. It's almost kind of worried we'd come in here to find him, like, infected or something. I would not have liked that at all. I've already had enough heartbreak this episode. What with, um, Portiso. I don't know if I said this, um, before when we first met him, but actually, um, Tiso was created by a, um, a, a Kickstarter backer. So, um, that's kind of interesting. So, um, the person, um, 
you know, backed the project at a level where they were able to create a character in the game. And I think that they created a really, really cool character. It's a shame what happened to him in the end, but um, actually there are other backer tiers where you could create a a boss. If you, um, if you remember Jero, I think that the dream bosses are backer created. I'm not 100% sure about that. But um, so... Tisa's creator got an NPC, not a boss character or a character that you could fight. So it was almost sort of inevitable that something would happen to him that would prevent him from fighting you. It's it's still kind of a shame that he had to die. You know, that, that really sucks. Especially so ignominiously, like he's just thrown out the bottom of the Coliseum. Okay, I don't want to talk about Tisa's death anymore, it makes me sad. Let's talk to the same Shaman and see if he has anything new to say. Gwen on in, man. What's this? My vengeful gift is warped within you. You've twisted it into something else. Oh, I knew it! My friend, you're a marvel! Your essence is melded with the spell. You must have found a powerful source to transform it in such a unique, expressive way. He's talking about the spell that he gave us is now a Shade Soul. So it's more like us now. So he says our essence is fused with the spell. When on in, man. Ah ho! <laughs> I'm sensing new power about you. One that'll crack the rock beneath us. A useful thing for one looking to travel ever deeper. My third uncle used to possess similar abilities. He also possessed a ferocious temper. Oh ho 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 ho! What a dreadful combination. Remember the Soul Sanctum people had a snail, you know, strapped to some kind of machine and stuff, and it was no good. Uh, and you remember where we got the um, Desolate Dive spell was from the Soul Master. I'm sorry, man. Your relative did shriek at us and scare the crap out of us, but I think, I mean, they're dead and gone. When on in, man. My friend, my friend, <laughs> there's another quality about you yet. You didn't perchance visit my fourth aunt. She makes her home beside that crystal mount. Leaves quite an impression on those who'd seek her out. Were I not bound here, I'd love to visit myself. You can't. I, cr I, I destroyed her. She was stuck in a crystal. And that's how I got descending dark. I'm just going around killing the snail shaman's friends. Although, um, you know, the one that was strapped to the thing was possibly on the brink of death anyway. Well, yeah. on in, man. <laughs> uh -huh. What brings you back through here, little shadow? Are you lost? Don't worry about me. I don't need anything more from you. <laughs> what do you say if I dream now, you? Poking around in the dreams of others? You're more curious than you look. Oh! I figured he would be one of the ones who knows what you're doing when you do that. Okay, so I just realized that I've been being kind of unfair by just, to you guys, by just wandering around in the new infected crossroads by myself. In other places, there hasn't been anything really new to show you, so there hasn't been any reason for me to, um, you know, not make a cut when I've been going places. But this area actually has some new enemies, as we saw with the, um, the worse giant vengefly and these worse crossroads. There's actually a couple more, um, new enemies that you haven't seen that I did while I was, um, getting to Salubra's and the Ancestral Mound. So, um, I'm actually gonna, like, go a couple rooms over and let you see them. Such as this person, who used to be just, like, a regular infected husk. And now he explodes horribly, too. He basically just- they basically just run at you, these- these new ones. They run at you and explode. Egg Temple. <laughs> I deserved that. I superheroed into the room and then just... Okay. What's cool about them, though, is that they will just go off and explode and then the money will appear. And then these were the ones that jump. But, um, now they're also super, super infected as well. So, let me show you them. If I am 
able to head on down the list. Um, oh no, they were up here. Slobbering husk is the jumping ones. Completely consumed by a f infection spits corrosive liquid. Violent husk are the runners. Maddened by massive infection. Charges at enemies with no thought for its own preservation. The volatile gruzzers. Gruzzers swollen with infection primed to burst. Um, the, um, there's what the hunter has to say about that. Horrible goo and noxious gas has started leaking down from above. Is there a source of all this pestilence? If so, I haven't seen it. Now that's interesting that, like, we've got Hunter's notes for stuff that, like, he shouldn't really be able to- This one also just is distorted by continuing infection. Like, if these are new enemies- Look at the map. Um, where is the Hunter? See, I guess the, the Hunter isn't really below Forgotten Crossroads or anything. But, um, so maybe he's seen these enemies, like, maybe they, you know- Oh! Light seeds. I need those- Again, for the hunter's journal. Yeah, there we go. I got the journal entry for the light seed. Strange air has been seeping down from above for years. Some of the air became liquid, and some of that liquid became flesh, and some of that flesh came to life. I don't know what to make of it. So that's kind of wacky. Um, yeah, and that was just the, um, another one of those. Furious Ventilas, that's going to be another group of enemies that I will, um, you know, come in and, um, you know, decipher the notes to show you guys sometime on my own. Alright, but for from here, we're headed into some of the last couple things that we are going to do this video, and that is we are going to head to Green Path. Hope you're enjoying all these like little short bits. They um I don't know why I rang the thing. But um these were just like little things that needed to be taken care of along the way. Just that we can now get to and I figured that I would take care of them all in one video just so that um because we're between, you know, new areas. So um alright, so here what we're gonna do is we are going to um head downward toward um, the area that's still shadowy over there that um, we haven't that we weren't previously able to do anything all right so I'll see you when I get there all right back again and here we are and now we can finally find out what is on the other side of this because remember we really couldn't when we first came into the room However, first of all, I'll kill that guy. Duranda. Simple flying creature protected by a spiky shell. Alright. Well, I know what we need to do to get over there. We have to go through a platforming challenge. It's gotta go at exactly the right time. Not that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, they don't want you to do that. That, um, use your nail to get all the way over there. Okay. I think, um, I think all that, that's up here is just the way back. Um, yeah. Just... Oh! <laughs> that's so stupid. Okay. So we're all the way out here, real far. That's just a rancid egg, I don't think I'm going to bother with that, since as I just said earlier, I don't really need them. Okay, oh, I know how to 
Okay. <laughs> that's that's one way to do it, I suppose. Give me a second. And here we have a little house. And inside the house, remember Nailmaster Oro and what he looked like? Sort of looked a lot like this guy, but this guy is painting. Hello. <laughs> a visitor? Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps, like me, you have a taste for discovering new things? I am Sheo, and in a previous life I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagined it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting, these things bring a different kind of pleasure. Hmm. You don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Sheo the Nail Master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Learn the master's nail art? Yes. Master the Great Slash. Hold X, release the button without holding up or down to perform the Great Slash. Go aname, churo. So, my work, does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush, these things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can peer deeper inside. For now, though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forwards, only you can see it. Good luck. Hold on. And remember, that was what we learned from Oro. Finello, bang. So, you met my brother Oro and convinced him to teach you his nail art. Hmm. It's been a long time since I've seen him. I wonder how much he's changed. He always seemed to be haunted by something, though I never learned what. No matter the distance between us, though, we are still brothers. I hope that passing down his learnings to you brought him some happiness. He was a little sundary about it, but I think it did make him a little bit happy. But they're brothers, so that's why they, they those, these two look alike. Anything more? Huh? I have spare brushes and plenty of paint. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join me in my art. My brother, Oro. What drove you to hide away deep down at the very edge of that great ash-swept grave? Was it pride, or fear, or shame? Perhaps you should lay down your nail if it haunts you so, and find a new calling that eases your soul. So he hopes for the best for his bro. Okay, so that was that was pretty cool. We met a new guy. Alright. And the last thing we're gonna do this video is we're going to head over to the Lake of On. Because I think that's gonna be the last thing. That might be a good um no final thing to do. So, I'll see you when I get there. Well, here we are at the peaceful Lake of On. And now, we don't have to worry about acid, so we can just swim across. We could have also superheroed across, but, um... And especially we can swim, because we can go underneath that and head inside. This is kind of pretty. If you remember all the way back when we were in Greenpath for the very first time, um, 
remember we saw some things about this creature called Un that had, you know, shaped Green Path. So, um, if this is the Lake of Un, I wonder, you know, if we're gonna run into that person. Or deity or whatever it is. That would be kind of interesting. We're in a big lake. And, um... Oh! Wow! You're big! Are you on? Are you on? Oh! Hmm. Well, this is a charm called the Shape of On. I think that was On. Oh my God, we we saw we saw the uh, the deity that um that made Green Path. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's see what this charm is. Shape of On reveals a form of On within the bearer. While focusing soul, the bearer will take on a new shape and can move freely to avoid enemies. Okay, I guess I could yeah, set off my spell. Um, that's another charm that I don't use very frequently. Other people swear by it because it helps. It can. It's oftentimes very helpful to let you be able to heal in tough spots. What it does is it makes the knight look a little slug-like, like on as you know the the slug deity, but um, it makes you uh, a lot smaller and lower to the ground, so a lot of the time it can help, you know, avoid especially enemies that have projectiles and such. So it gives you, and, and also you can move while healing, so you can continue moving out of the way instead of being, you know, stuck where you are like you usually are when you're, um, um, healing. I killed a peaceful being. But, um, yeah, so that's, like I said, it's a charm that I don't usually use too much, but, um, it could potentially be helpful. It's just that I never really, you know, adopted it into my repertoire. That thing was called an Aluba, passive glider that prefers to dwell near acid waters. What careless a life led drifting above us all. If one ever comes too close to the ground, though. <laughs> All right, so I think that, um, well, hold on. Actually, I can think of one more thing that I could do in Green Path that um, would fit in with the theme of this video, which is going back to places we've been before. So I will be right back, guys. Radio, guys. Remember this scary place? And how we came back here when we had our, um... I think we came back here once we had the lantern. However, I'm not entirely sure But Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm not ready for you yet. Um... I'm not entirely sure we came back. I think we did, but just... What... It would be it would be more of a one second thing if I could you know, pay attention to where the hell I'm going. But um Yeah, hold on. No, we didn't come back. There's a mask shard in here, which is awesome because it's the final one to get us more health. Wonderful. So Remember, this is the stone sanctuary, and it was too dark to do shit in. So I guess we never really did, you know, come back after I said it was too dark to do shit in. You know, once we had the lantern and were able to do shit in it. No. Okay, so let's go back to where that strange figure was. Remember, um... We weren't able to come in here, and there's like this really weird stone thing here that looks rather like this person, so let's see what they have to say. My child, can you still see? Please don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. 
precious children. A monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? This person is called No Eyes, which is pretty scary. And and they're just surrounded by corpses in this temple. Challenge the warrior dream. So this person's like, Shero, we're going to fight another warrior dream. Okay. This is a spooky one. Because she basically just flits around the room. And you have to go looking for her. And she just sings the entire time. I almost wish I'd come come here to do her for like a Halloween video or something. I don't know why I just fired off my spell twice instead of doing what I meant to do, which was heal. However, here's the secret. If you stay down here, right by where the thing is, you can usually avoid most of the ghost heads. So she's like, rather than using a nail or any other kind of weapon, she has like, a magic. So she's a magic user, which is interesting. Especially since the only other magic users we typically have seen in the game have been snails. She sure doesn't look like any kind of a snail to me. I just stood there and let that happen. If you've noticed, as I've damaged her more, there have been more and more ghost heads. So, that's like... So, she said, like, you can't, you know, dream if you don't sleep, you can't, you know, and she's called No Eyes. Um, my personal theory about No Eyes is that she was perhaps put in charge of, or took it upon herself to, like, protect children, because she was talking about children, you know, in her speech, during the initial in outbreak of the infection, and brought these children to this place. And the thing of no eyes, one of the first signs of bad infection is that your eyes turn orange. And so maybe she gouged out her own eyes thinking that it would somehow save her from infection. But, you know, being as how she's a ghost, I suppose she eventually did succumb. Also, her the part of her speech about you say loathsome things as you sleep children so the children were infected as well like perhaps they were since the infection is light based and has something to do with dreams i mean because we've you know we've come across stuff about dreams too you know this is some confirmation that the infection has something to do with dreams as well like this is further info about that because if children were saying bad things and scrabbling and scraping as they slept, you know, perhaps they were having nightmares and that's another symptom of the infection. Okay, so let's see what she has to say. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I felt it, a warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams. Please? So remember, she said a monster came for us in the dark, and it was almost as though she was fighting the night, as though they were whatever that monster was. But then she said she's sorry that she was afraid of us, so maybe at the end there, you know, she realized that the night, that's, that was funny, that the night was not, you know, the monster that she should fear. Okay, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There might be one more thing, but I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to go over to it because it's all the way to the left there, and I'm not sure, you know, see that other entrance that is not linked up, but I'm not entirely sure that's a thing we can do right now. So just, um... I might be back 
over, you know, saying, okay, guys, over, I'm over here now, or I might be back when I get to a bench where I will end the video. So, see you in just a second, whatever happens. All right, here I am after all. In this room, we had found a grub about halfway through and also a treasure chest, but we weren't able to get too, too much further because of the acid. So now I'm all the way over here and was able to get that particular shortcut. Here's a lore tablet. Though once are lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. A pale being. So that's like, I can't, I can't get up there because it's blocked by one of these shortcut logs. But um, that's interesting because remember what Vespa said about the pale beings, plural. And we know that, like, the king is one of them. But, you know, who's the other? Is it the king that's being spoken about there? And also, the other thing that I wanted to get, that I wanted to show you, show you me getting, was another vessel fragment. So we are on our way to our second vessel. So, um... Here's the entry for No Eyes. Lingering dream of a fallen warrior disappeared during the plague. Okay, so that, like, that was my, that had been my theory. I assume I based it at least partially on this. And what, um, what she says is, They're coming. What's inside of you? Strip it out! So that sort of goes along with my theory that she, um, you know, might have taken her own eyes out just because she found herself becoming infected or was worried that she would become infected okay one more cut while I head back to a bench to complete and conclude this video all right gang so what I did was I just came to this bench right here that's um you know in the midst of green path it's possible that when we start again next time I will have walked myself over to the bench that's at the stag station in green path because the next thing that we're gonna do in the next video is we're going to head up to the very top of green path remember when we first met Zote and then do you see the exit that's to the very top and right of that we're gonna head in there and see what we can see in there it's actually going to be um, some cool stuff so I hope you enjoyed our little trek all around the kingdom today on this installment of Hollow Knight so look forward to some new areas some new people some new cool stuff next time all right and once again rest in peace Tiso you were rude but you're also a bro all right. Have a good day, everybody.